Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm making a highway embankment construction site. So the general idea behind this build is that it's uh, a lead up to a bridge. So obviously they've had to raise the earth. And in real life, when they raise the earth, they add these um, like panels on the side of the banks. And someone released a a parking lot uh, asset like decal sort of thing here it is right here and it looks exactly like the uh, grid mesh things they add onto the side of embankments when they're constructing them so they they add these on top of the dirt pin them in to hold the dirt there and then they'll add a small layer of dirt on the top with grass on top of that just to hold everything together I have been thinking about doing a highway embankment construction sort of thing for a long time but these decals just made me want to do it even more and I thought it would be a fairly quick and easy build to do because all I had to do was um, build this small stretch of area and then add these uh, sort of decals on the side I had them both sides and I had them like on the corners as well just as I'm sure that's holding it. I mean, I'm no highway engineer, so I have no idea if that is like remotely what they do. But from pictures, it looks it looks a lot like what they do. So that's what I did. And here I am adding the uh, just the bridge, just as a bit of decoration to the whole thing. I think it's the Niagara Falls Bridge or something by uh, Gerald Geraldo. I think that's his name. So I was uh, thinking it was a bit boring just having a straight road. So I added a little, little curve in there just to, um, I don't know, just try to make it fit more. And then obviously I've got to now curve these uh, decals to fit that curve. And I've used the technique of uh, simply placing a line and then just copying it with the Move It mod. And it, it works great. I mean, it saves so much time. I can just copy and place it over and then just fill in the gaps where the curve wasn't exactly right because obviously when you move up it, it would be a bit different but eh, it, it looked it look good it looked pretty good and then I do the same thing I'll just copy it to the other side but I'm left with this gap and I think I'm thinking to myself you know what I could do with this gap I could pretend like maybe this gap obviously was constructed in the past and then it like there was a uh, like a collapse or something on this part so they had to remove all of it to pack it back in because I do imagine that in construction obviously things like this happen where uh, they build something and then something happens like there's a rainstorm or just the dirt just collapses so they've had to tear it all up again and fix it back down so that's the main idea behind what I was doing in that small area where it's blocked off. Now in this part I'm trying to work out the best way to make a like a road construction area uh, like they're paving the road. Now I don't know which order they do it in if they um, build these embankments and then pave the road or pave the road and then build the embankments. I would think they build the embankments and then pave it. I would think that is the right way but I don't know like I said no road engineer here but and I'm using obviously Ronix's uh, asphalt decals but I'm not using the ones that you can put props on top of because this is a slope and they don't work on slopes so I just had to use the normal bog standard decal which is a bit annoying because I did want to put a lot of dirt in places and I had to sort of build around it because I was covering up the markings because I imagine that obviously the markings on the road are the last thing that ever gets put onto the road and as it goes I do add a uh, truck with some it's like it's pulling a tiller or something but I thought it looked a bit like a painting machine so I stuck that there because I didn't have anything really else to fill it and these are the uh, like the trucks and the um, diggers that are 
repairing, like, I'm, I'm imagining that they are repairing the embankment where it has broken. I just think I'll talk a little bit about what's happening while I have recorded this episode. Uh, the new mass transit DLC has come out and the free update has come out. And despite my best efforts to load the game in offline mode and stuff, but you can't, you can't do that. You have to load it in with a uh, internet connection. But I did see on um, two dollars twenty video that he says he loads it in offline mode, but I couldn't do that. I'm not sure how he does it, but that's what he said in his video. I'm pretty sure. I tried exactly what he did and it wouldn't let me, it just loaded it in, uh, it said you need an uh, internet connection. But as it is now, my uh, game is completely broken. I think uh, Key Anarchy is broken, uh, Traffic President is broken, um, v Advanced Vehicle Options is broken, uh, I was getting a ton of error messages as I was loading the game. The The game was completely like white. Uh, I posted an image on Twitter if you want to go have a look. It's just the general error messages but it was exciting. Everyone else is posting their errors as well. <laughs> it's great fun. So that's enough about that really. I'm gonna also I want to ask you guys a question. I've been thinking about doing a mini-series as some of you have seen in the comments of my videos but I'm not really sure what kind of mini-series I sort of want to do like a rural America maybe like a on a Route 66 like a village like a town like that I also do want to do like a, a skiing uh, like mountainous town which which is reliant on skiing for their income if you guys have any ideas on like a very small project, it, it would have to be five to ten videos because I'm not going anything more than that because I would probably either break the save or I would get bored. So five to ten videos of a small project that I can do. I don't know. Tell me if you like the ideas of the uh, Route 66 video. Like uh, it would be a, a town which is obviously uh, its heyday has passed. But it still has um, shops and stuff, and it would be on Route 66. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I could use the word Route 66. Maybe I would come up with a different route, but it would be a, it would, that would be what it was modelled after. But that's the general idea. Just let me know if uh, you guys have any ideas on small projects that would be several videos long, just to uh, add some sort of uh, progression into the videos, because. I do notice that a lot of you guys want some progression, which I understand. I mean, it is a bit... There's, there's no real progression in my videos. I just build a thing, and then that's pretty much the end of that thing. <laughs> I mean, there's been some videos where it's like an add-on to the other video, but I don't really talk about that. But, oh well, that's uh, pretty much how, how it goes. So I'm going to talk a bit more about what I'm doing here on the video. I'm just adding a lot of props to this area, a lot of uh, like lifters and diggers and like extra pieces of this uh, grill mesh holder to just show that maybe they've uh, they've moved it off and they're lifting it. I would like to maybe put a couple stacks, but since it's a decal, it does not stack. So you're just going to have to imagine that there is a big stack of these uh, white things here. That's as close as I could get with just laying them on the floor. So just imagine that there is a stack there. And while I was yammering on, you saw that I was placing uh, like lines of uh, as asphalt or tarmac like coming out of these machines. Those are the machines I believe to lay the uh, tarmac, but I'm not sure if I put them on the right way. Looking at the picture, I think I maybe put them on the right way, but I, I might have put them on the wrong way. Not 100% sure on that. And obviously I put the uh, like the rollers after them, as I imagine they're rolling it down. I should have maybe also put like a couple people props, but I didn't have any at the time, and 
it was just a case of like, I couldn't be bothered to load the entire game again just to get them because they did, they had they had something, but not not a lot because they're so small. I was thinking about trying to get uh, placing some people park generators around and getting people over here, but I, I feel like I would just be annoyed with the people driving on this road when they're not meant to, because they will. Even if I try to get try and get them not to, they will, and they're driving places that I don't want them to, and uh, it's a bit annoying. But it works right as like a, a static scene sort of thing. I mean, the, when the uh, cinematics were playing, that the game was actually playing, so you can see some motion in the trees and in the uh, water, but it's very li limited. So at this end bit. I'm uh, sort of adding like the the part that has been recovered with dirt so that's why the uh, dirt is overlapping it so I imagine they just pile the dirt on top and then flatten it down I was thinking about putting a steamroller on it do I I can't remember if I put that on but I imagine they flatten them down somehow to let the uh, just to, to stick them I mean, not really stick them, but just keep them there securely. It's all a lot of guesswork and a lot of looking at pictures. Oh, here we go. I put a, uh, like a, what is that even called? It's not, uh, it's a bulldozer. It's a bulldozer. I put a bulldozer there. So I imagine they're pushing the dirt out, flattening it down. I just do a lot of uh, props here. I'm just placing a lot of these barriers just to um, make sure that trucks that are driving up here know where to drive. And because uh, I imagine, obviously, a lot of people are involved in this, and not everybody is working on this site 24 hours a day. There will be trucks driving up who maybe it will be their first time ever delivering supplies here, so they would need a decent place to. Uh, drive through to be guided so they don't interfere with the uh, construction that is going on so that's pretty much it I just go through and place a lot of props down after this a lot more con construction props I place the lines down like the line dragging machines down which aren't really machines but if that's really it, so I'm going to leave you here, leave you with the rest of the time lapse. And I'll see you next time.